Hi guys, my name is Emito Boladoku. Welcome to my channel. Feel free to subscribe and like this video. To do any AI segmentation project, it, it is very important that you label your data sets. There are different types of labeling. So we have label LMG, we have Microsoft VOTT, we have uh, label box, we have VGG image annotation tool, and we have supervisedly. In this video, I'll be discussing how you can use supervisedly to label computer vision data sets. If you are a new user, you need to sign up. I just log in. And it looks like this are the interface. This is where you deploy your project, you import projects or images that you want to annotate or label. You can add members. Members maybe to hard tasks can say okay you're doing this. You can also label at scale and issue of jobs to people. If you have any issue that you think that it has not been solved, you can add new issue here and talk about it. You can have plugins. Plugins means that okay, maybe you want to use DCL, you can say that okay, add it up. This one is already added. Like I just added one on link, adding links to images, so you can add that, come in and add it. But we just focus our attention on projects, this project. So I'm not importing links, neither am I importing video because you, are, you can also label videos. But I'm just importing an image, I just pick it up. And drop it and label let's name it to me my name <laughs> so you click import it's important it so you can come here and archive the task so once it's done it's going to show you that it has been imported so I come here start annotation Another word for labeling is annotation, so in case we see it, we shouldn't get it confused. It still means the same thing. So we come here, okay. This image here, this has been unpacked. So I come here and save it as a green. Okay. Let me use. Hot key is more like a shortcut. Instead of you typing this, you just press A. It automatically uh, activates this particular polygon uh, color. You see how it works. Okay. You come here. We can choose the color we want. Let's still use steel blue. No, let's do something different. So it won't merge with the color we have there. Uh, let's use blue. You can choose different shades. And you can see the hex. Excode of it. Uh, I think this color will do fine. Yeah. Then that's all. Then you start clicking it. It's still working on it. It's still working on it. Make sure it's properly done. Oh, if you know you've missed it, you can just press Ctrl Z. Undo. Then you just come here automatically it says if you come here you can change the opacity of the color if you want it deep can you see if you want it light you can change it the border size if you want it to be thick you can also regulate it here brightness you can change it contrast same but i don't think i need the border size so i'll just put it as zero so that's what you can do with this. But once you label it, it comes under this object category. So now we can pick another one. Let's choose another class. Let's call the USB plug. Um, let's give it a USB. U. This color is not so bad. So you can come here. If you worked with Arduino, you should know that this is a USB for Arduino. This is where the USB is. So you just come here. And that was it. You can also change the opacity of it. If you want to dip. So anything you do, because everything is under this section, it regulates it to. So you just put it that way. Okay. Maybe now you want to now label. You come back here. 
So activates your annotation button. So okay, let's call this the plug. I think. So I don't know. I just want to put plug there. So you can call it anything. Um, let's choose color yellow so it will pop. Yellow. So let me go another direction. Automatically, once you label any part, it saves it. We have like three objects underneath it. One, two, three. For the plug, USB, and the Arduino itself. We have under this image. This is where the images are. If you upload like 1000 images, it's going to reflect here 1000. So can go back to the home page i see it's saved there so if you open it again you don't need to go far your work is saved thank you